Now, the next device I'm about to show you really surprised me on just how much I liked it. So I'm glad HP sent it over. What I'm talking about is the HP Chromebase. It's an all-in-one desktop that really uh, has some nice, beautiful looks to it, a really sleek and modern look. It's got a 21.5 inch touch display that rotates 90 degrees, allowing you to use it in both portrait and landscape mode. It's a really nice appliance, I would say, that you can use in not only in a dorm room, but you can use it in a family room or even a kitchen. We're gonna get into it in more in this review. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the HP Chrome Base All-in-One here for 2022. Coming up. Now, before we get to the unboxing, I want to let everybody know that I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. HP is not getting copy approval. That means you're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this review unit is on loan from HP, and once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing for the HP Chrome Base All-in-One starts at $529.99. Price for my review unit as configured here goes for $769.99 over at hp.com. For those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now they give you a pretty compact 90 watt power adapter in the box that also includes an extension cord. You get some documentation which includes some warranty information and a keyboard and mouse and I like the white finish on it. Now these use AAA batteries and they do include those batteries in the box. And of course you get the unit itself and at 15.37 pounds or 6.97 kilograms, definitely a little bit of heft to it that's for sure. Now, one of the things I envision for this type of device, this all-in-one, is that it's a family device. In other words, you could put it in the kitchen, it's great for recipes, or you can put it in a family room where anybody can just get on, watch a video, watch a movie. A really pretty interesting uh, application for use of this, and I think there's a lot of possibilities for it so far. I also like the way it looks. Okay, let's check out the port selections. On the back are two USB-A ports, and you also get two USB-C ports that do display port 1.2, and you also get a 3.5 millimeter headphone microphone combo jack, and finally your power button. On the side is your volume rocker up and down. On the top of the unit is the kill switch for the webcam and microphone for more privacy. And speaking of the webcam, let's check it out now. So this is the front-facing camera on the HP Chrome Base desktop all-in-one and as you can see uh, this is not a bad webcam it's a five megapixel webcam this is 1944p video you could also do 1440p you could do 1080p video what do you think about the video quality what do you think about the audio quality say if you're going to do a zoom call work from home needs hybrid work needs uh, does it fit the bill i'm curious what would you think let me know in that comment section below now this is the 1440p video. This is widescreen as opposed to 1944, which is more of a square look, but this will give you the widescreen look and it'll be good for Zoom, it'll be good for your Skype calls. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about it, I am curious to know. Now the star of the show has to be this 21.5 inch Full HD IPS display. It's also a touch display that you can rotate 90 degrees as you see here. Now, HP claims that this display will get as bright as only 250 nits. However, my unit actually showing about 415 nits, much higher than what they're claiming, which is kind of interesting. Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, it all worked well. I've had no issues. And it's a very responsive touchscreen as well, which is really convenient, especially if you're in the kitchen, you're doing recipes, you want to be able to touch the display. Of course, that might get it dirty, but that's another issue with fingerprints and so forth. But as a display goes, this is a nice IPS display very good viewing angles good contrast good black points good white points i've had no issue now it is a full hd resolution that's 1920 by 1080 could have been better with say a 2k resolution or higher resolution so if you look really closely you'll see the pixels a little bit but not a big deal again higher resolution meant it would have been a higher cost so it's a really nice full hd panel at the end of the day now, I've been pleasantly surprised on how good the speakers are on this all-in-one. Let's give it a listen. It's actually really good. Thank you. 
Now, the keyboard and mouse that comes with this unit is actually pretty good. Not too bad. I like the tactile feedback. I like the key travel. And this is what it sounds like when you're typing on it. Now, HP has a really great video of a teardown on how to get inside this unit as far as any removable parts and replaceable parts, such as the RAM and SSD, which you can upgrade if you want to get into it. I'll leave a link for that video in the description below. I think HP did an outstanding job once again, uh, dismantling this unit and, of course, disassembling it and showing you what's inside. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is running the Core i3 processor. It's a 10th gen processor from a couple of generations ago. So it's not going to be the latest and greatest, but it doesn't really matter because the performance has been really good on this because the Chrome OS doesn't use a lot of resources, doesn't need as much as, say, Windows or other operating systems. So that's good. Now, my unit does have 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. And as I just mentioned, it is user upgradable. So that's always good. It also has a Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 combo, and those are working really well. And that looks like that's upgradable as well. So if you get in the internals, there's a lot to upgrade. And they ran a couple of benchmarks. Here's the Geekbench 5. And as you can see, this is the Android app running on this Chrome OS. And you can run Android apps natively, as I said. And you could also run Linux. We'll get into that in a little bit. But as you can see from these results, not the greatest single and multi-core score. But again, you don't need it as much because of the less resources needed for the Chrome OS. And that is a benefit at the end of the day. Now, you can run streaming services on this that allow you to game, and you could also game on Android apps that run natively, as I mentioned. I ran Asphalt 9, which fills up the screen rather nicely and worked rather good on this. So if you want to do some light gaming on this, uh, this doesn't stop you. You can actually do it. And I really love the ability to install Linux on this and you'll have a working Linux machine. And here I am running LibreOffice, which gives you a lot of the functionality of Microsoft Office for free. And it works really well and it gives you more functionality, makes this a really nice productivity tool on top of the ability to run not only Android apps, but run the Chrome OS as well. All right, let's bring it all home. What do I think about the HP Chrome Base all-in-one desktop? And I got to say, this really surprised me on how functional this has been. I love the ability to run Android apps. I love the ability to run Linux on this. I love the fact that this has a rotating 90-degree display. It's a full HD IPS display, 21.5 inches, and it really is nice. It's a full HD resolution, although I would have liked to have seen either a 2K or 4K option for a little bit more money. That would have been great. Not an option you get. There is some excellent audio out of the speakers. I like the fact that the keyboard and mouse is included, and the 10th Gen i3 definitely gives you good enough performance on this Chrome OS. But of course, it's not a perfect device. It doesn't have an HDMI port. It doesn't have an SD card reader, which would have been nice. And there's no higher resolution option. A 2K or 4K option would have been great. I would have been willing to pay extra money for that, but that's not an option you get. But these are not deal breakers by any stretch, ladies and gentlemen. The HP Chrome Base is an excellent choice if you're looking for an appliance to put in a kitchen, family room, a dorm room, which you can watch media, watching Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, will be great with this. It could also get work done by installing Linux, running LibreOffice, and the like. This is a great choice, ladies and gentlemen, and I highly recommend the HP Chrome Base all-in-one here for 2022. It surprised the heck out of me. So what do you think about the HP Chrome Base uh, here in 2022? This surprised the heck out of me, as I mentioned, because I wasn't expecting to like it this much. I didn't expect such great build quality. I didn't expect the display to be that good. And I like the fact that you can rotate the display 90 degrees, giving you a lot of options. The touch display was very responsive. The 10th Gen i3 was certainly enough power to run the Chrome OS, which doesn't really need a lot to get it going. And I love the fact that you can run Android apps natively, and you could also run Linux. So I was able to install things like LibreOffice to get work done, like Microsoft Office applications were all compatible. And the best part about it, it doesn't cost you anything. It's free. So a lot of versatility when it comes to this Chrome base. I can envision this in a dorm room, in a family room, in a kitchen. It's great for recipes, as I mentioned. So it's a lot of functionality, a lot of versatility in a beautiful looking modern design. 
But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. It has a five megapixel webcam that I thought was pretty decent to do Zoom calls or any of your work from home needs. And it also has some great speakers. I was really blown away on just how rich and full the sound was filling up the room rather nicely. Good job on that front, HP. Now, I love the price of this coming in at a starting price of $529. I would stay away from that entry-level model running the Pentium processor. I don't think we want to go there. You'll want to go with the one we have here today. That comes in right now over at HP's website. It's showing $739. That gets you 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, which is, by the way, upgradable as demonstrated in HP's teardown video. And again, I'll leave a link for that video in the description below. I think they did a great job. So a lot of versatility, a lot of upgradability. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Thank you.